All righty. Now she's nice and naked. All right, so we have the Inwin 805, and she is a beaut. As you can see right off the bat, guys, it's got a tempered glass aesthetic all around, except the top. The top is going to be more of a brushed aluminum. This is an ATX case, by the way. ATX is the biggest you're going to get. So micro, mini ITX, and for whatever reason you want to put a mini ITX in here. I don't know. It's up to you. But the biggest you're going to go is ATX, also with tempered glass on the front, with this kind of honeycomb little design mesh metal thing going on behind it. That if you put some LEDs, you know, LED fans, it's going to give you a nice, interesting little glow through the front if you so desire. Now looking around the case, the attempered side uh, panels are going to be held by these little, if you don't get zapped, of course, ouch, these little uh, screws right here, which do have a little bit of rubber, little washers, grommets, rather that they screw into, so it's not... You know, you have a less likelihood of damaging or cracking the tempered glass. And mind you guys, tempered glass does not mean it's not going to break. You can still easily scratch it. The only thing that makes tempered glass tempered glass is that when it shatters, it literally shatters into little pieces. It's not huge shards. So in the case that it were to shatter, hopefully not, you have a less likelihood of getting, well, severely cut. Uh, it's going to just shatter into a bajillion pieces, really. Now, being that it is tempered glass and a brushed aluminum in some parts, it is going to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet. I mean, you might even be able to see some here now, maybe not. But I did wear some uh, gloves while handling the case at times and getting some B-roll because it's hard. And that especially reflections, but obviously that's only because I'm shooting video. But yeah, fingerprints, so just be patient. And if you do wear gloves, if they're not grippy gloves with a bit of grip, rubbery stuff around them, just be careful. Don't, you know, let it slide out of your hands, out of your grip there, and just be patient with it. Now, going at the front, the I.O., we actually do have some of this particular SKU came with a USB 3.1 option at the front. So once boards have that header, uh, you know, whatever board is capable of using that, you will have that option on the front I.O., along with 3.0, additionally. But there is a SKU that only has 3.0, the regular 3.05 gigabit per second option, if you want to go that route instead. On button, of course, too. Nice little clicky here, satisfying click. It's not flipping at all you do have to push not significantly but it doesn't take a whole lot to accidentally push it there's no reset button though so you know that's subjective whether you really care for that or not I don't you know, honestly remember the last time I used a reset button but yeah if you're tinkering then it's a whole lot easier to reset with a button I suppose now for the price point I gotta say this case comes with it only comes with one rear exhaust a 120 that in when included and I, that's okay, but I would have liked to have seen at least two, maybe even three, especially for the price point that this comes in. But again, you do get one exhaust fan, uh, 120 millimeter in the back. Now in the back, you do actually have eight expansion covers there. Uh, not to say that it's going to support XLATX, but if you have any compatibility issues, let's say if uh, your board has a slot all the way at the bottom, you want to occupy a card there and you can. Perhaps maybe that'll give you some better uh, compatibility. Bottom mounted power supply, by the way. And also one thing I took note at first and I got a little bit upset about, I was like, why did they do that? But I'll explain why. Presumably the more likely solution, logical solution as to why the power supply mount at the bottom has no intake. It's like, well, my power supply needs to breathe too, right? But yeah, think back. Power supplies were originally just working as exhausts in the system so it's not that big of a deal and innards of power supplies today granted higher end mid-range higher end power supplies they're built to last they can handle a little bit of extra heat but being that there isn't much exhaust on this case there's no exhaust out of the top this is all solid as i said brushed aluminum I'm not gonna be putting any radiators up there probably a radiator here in the back where this 120 is single rad and so for the bottom the power supply is going to be acting as an extra exhaust because you only have one in the rear and then you have your power supply. That's that. Those are the only exhausts you have. You can have intake through the front via two 140 millimeters, which well, I'll uh, talk about in a moment. And you have some under the hard drive cage area, and that is practically it. So they had to make a few compromises for this, you know, tempered glass look. They're certainly not going to put a fan grill or vent area right here. That's going to ruin the glass, ruin the look, and even the structural integrity. Even if they could do that, so I don't even. It'd be interesting to see if they did, but it would ruin the aesthetic because you want to see the innards. You want to make the innards as clean as possible and you want to see without obstruction. So looking at the inside, guys, nice spacious interior. One thing that I also wondered why they, I mean, I think they still could have done it. There's no rubber grommets here to uh, 
better conceal cable management. But at the same time, being that this is tempered glass, you're going to be, it's going to force you and train you to do the best cable management you can. Because rubber grommets are not. Maybe that's why they opted for without it, perhaps, probably. But you're, you're going to see everything anyway. So rubber grommets aside, I mean, you're going to see your cables coming out through the back, through the side. If you have this up against something, maybe you won't see the back, but you have it standing just visible somewhere. You're going to see a great deal of everything inside, including your messy cable management if you're lazy. So take your time, be patient. But anyway, going back to the inside, you have all black cables. Nice. You have, uh, oh, by the way, LED here in the front and when this lights up. So that's what this is going to be for your little one little Molex up here. The uh, logo of Inwin uh, does light up there with an LED, so that's kind of nice if you like that sort of thing. Or you can leave it off, just leave it disconnected. Now you do have a little bit of ketchup mustard going on in here. I mean, for the again, for the price of the case, I would have, I would have, you know, I'd say Inwin, you guys could have put a little more effort into going all the way and are making these black somehow because hey, it's it's an all glass case mostly, so you want to see everything, right? But you don't want to see this. Come on. It's a very simple little thing, and for the price of the case, I would have taken care of that. HD audio, a USB 3.0, that's all black, thankfully, and you have your, well, USB regular, USB 2.0. Now, we can see it through here mostly, but you do have some SSD mounts in the back. Three, if I, uh, yep, three that you will be unscrewing and screwing into place, so you could have those visible in the back if you'd like. You have, also have a fourth SSD mount here on top of the uh, uh, hard drive cage, which you can move back, forward, or remove completely, or put up here. You can situate it in many ways that you want for better airflow, or just if you want it to have a different look, you don't want them down here. Now, I was mentioning about the two 140s or 120s that you can put in the front, and I said we talk about that because this bracket actually comes out, so it makes it easier for you to put your uh, 280 or 240 uh, radiator. You can just slide it right in, and that is not what she said. As you can see, this does slide out. You want to go ahead, you got all your instructions right here on the layout of where, actually it's by centimeters, but uh, 12 would be 120 and 14 would be 140. And then you have your HDD, hard drive, di uh, di hard disk drive, cage mounts here. So if you actually choose to move that cage anywhere, so put some exhaust down here, or just get rid of it all together, whatever you like. This has a bit of a powder coated feel to it, and it seems pretty sturdy. Now, as far as intake, you do get one filter, which is all the way on the bottom. And the way this comes out, I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, sure, they could have made it so it slides out of the front. It's much easier. But the way they've done this, being that the whole cage, the whole case is aluminum, really. And aluminum is not, you know, magnetic. It does come with magnets, but the little bumps underneath, when you actually situate this back into place, it only has four special little bumps, which is more likely steel underneath. But yeah, you're only going to be putting it in one way. It would have been nice to maybe see it come out through the side maybe a little bit more easily than that, but you know, just tilt it, no big deal. You don't even have to look. You just fumble around for a little bit and that's really it. See, it's, it's already in place. It aligns with, its, with itself due to the magnets and the position of the little bumps. And that's it, you don't really have to worry about it. So it's fairly easy. Now as for the feet on the bottom, they're rugged enough. They have a little bit of a soft, medium, soft uh, rubber. So it's not gonna be sliding anywhere. They're sturdy, does elevate the case a bit, but in, uh, well, I mean, yeah. And for the case that you actually use the intake from the front, uh, from the lower front, then yeah, that's good. It does have uh, plenty of breathing room under there. Now looking at the back guys, you do have plenty of room for cable management. And again, gonna, this is gonna force, this is gonna train you, force you to do your cable management very elegantly. You use zip ties, Velcro. You do have zip ties, by the way, in the accessories, which I completely forgot to talk about. You get a plethora of everything. Zip ties, even get a microfiber cloth. Thank you, Inwin. Thank you for thinking about that. Do you know, don't be eating Doritos when you touch this thing. It's up to you. I'm not your dad, I'm not your mom. Certainly not your mom. So yeah, they include that microfiber cloth with you. Extra screws, all your motherboard standoffs, everything you're going to need in this fancy little pouch, which you can reuse. Put some, you know, put your chips in here. Put your Doritos in here when you're done with it. So yeah, it's gonna force you to do some elegant cable management. It's gonna train you, you'll learn. And yeah, you'll make it pretty. Just be patient. If you get frustrated, walk away, take a break, get a glass of water, come back and work on it. You'll be golden. Really quick, the hard drive slides. I didn't mention that. You have a nice little latch system here to uh, put them in, pull them right out. You do have some SSD mounting holes here again. If you wanna just use some SSDs and not that many uh, mechanical drives. These are the kind of just kind of flex, line up the holes, pops in, boom, you're golden. It's gonna be sturdy once you get it in there. All these plasticky ones, they all feel a little flimsy at first, but once you get them in, they're not gonna go anywhere, as I said. 
So yeah, the Inwin 805, uh, if you guys want to talk about it, head by the forums and uh, hang out with us there, techsyndicate.com. Don't forget to stop by epicpants.com, check out some of these shirts, the Linux Penguin right here, looking all dapper and mean, and I'm going to I'm gonna kick your ass windows kind of face. But also Land Syndicate, everyone. April 15th, coming up very soon, just a couple months away. Start off the new year right, start it off the right way. And you can reserve some tickets now, which they're not full price, over at epicpants.com. More information on the uh, event coming very soon, so don't worry, there'll be a uh, separate page for that coming up very soon. And so yeah, if you wanna reserve some tickets, go ahead now, it's not full price. They will be going up to full price soon. And yeah, just stay tuned for more information on that. So yeah, check out these links as always, and follow us on Twitter. All that stuff is down there. And I will see you guys in the next one.